What's up, everybody? Fierce Crypt here, and I'm. This is a my first ever li non-live gameplay that I'm recording. Uh, I'm using the MTAR X with silencer, extended mags, a ready up, sleight of hand, a dead silence, scavenger, focus, and fully loaded. I got this uh, class setup from the one and only Optic Burnsy, otherwise known as at the Burns on uh, Twitter. Uh, hit him up and thank him for this class setup. I decided to do a little custom class loadout from it. Uh, to take in consideration I did tweak it a little bit because he uses a specialist as his strike package and I've never been able to actually use the strike package or the specialist strike package because it's just not me for some reason but besides that I and I also tweaked by I switched amplify for the sleight of hand because I like to be able to reload my gun faster other than hear people more because I usually just rush and I don't really I look at the uh, map more just to look, find them and not really rely on he my hearing as much but uh, th I think I go pretty good in this gameplay I go 28 and 19 it's it's a I've really enjoyed this cl class setup it's it's a good close range uh, to maybe a medium range weapon especially with the how it you know the silencer really does take a little bit of range off of your uh, gun but it it's always it's always a good gun especially being MTAR because they they never really sh well I heard there was a nerf to it recently Drifter said it said it was a little a little nerf but it's still it's still pretty effective as I can tell it really works out the way I like it but if in the gameplay you'll see that I don't really get many long range kills unless they were already close to dying but it was really I I really enjoyed it uh, thank you Brett Burns for it and I'm gonna start doing more like this and asking pro players slash uh, youtubers about cl some class setups and I'm gonna start putting those in the custom class loadouts uh, episodes because I know I've gotten out of the loop of doing those I do I do a bit, bunch of different series now or s mini series more like like my making friends on PS3 I did and then things like meet my eating the habanero and all that I'll probably start doing something more like that too because the responses on it were pretty well and yeah so but this gameplay I really <laughs> got hit by a bunch of IEDs which were ridiculous I think that people need to start using IEDs now I used to use them myself I know but it's just gotten to a point where it's ridiculous to me I just don't know how the heck people can do it now anymore. It's just something that I can't ever see people doing. Like, or I think they should nerf them. Honestly, I think they nerfed them at one point, but it it wasn't enough. I I think they need to nerf them like one more time. I know you can duck under them and jump over them, but it just that's still too much work. If you think about it, it's like you're wanting to get. You just want to rush. You're one of the rushing types, like I am, and you don't want to have to, oh, stop by ducking or jumping over something. It's you just want to get on your way, get to a kill as fast as you can, and that's how I am. Like I said, I recently been watching uh, Drifters videos, and one of Drifters videos, the more recent ones, uh, tips on. Uh, tips of being an aggressive rusher. I f 
I consider myself an aggressive rusher because I hate, I don't like sitting in one spot at one time. I, you can say I have some sort of an ADD kind of in COD. I'm, I feel like I'm cranked, cranked, cranked. I'm cranked. I don't, I guess. <laughs> no wonder I like the cranked gameplay, cranked game mode so much because it's just, it keeps you going, it keeps you going. You can't, you don't want to stop because you'll be afraid you'll blow up in the 30 seconds you got. But like I said, it, I, in this game, I, I figure, I see a bunch of really close range kills that are like maybe, I think it's two shot kills. Like automatically, do do die. They die. You keep going, and then you come to that one guy who's long range on you, and you can't quite get to him. But I still have fun with it. It's just really. I can't. I really this like I said the MTAR is it's a very balanced gun, but with the silencer, it silencer kind of d. Uh, dehances, if you if you would say, dehances the range at just the right amount that it won't quite give you the full effectiveness at what it would be like medium range, medium range maybe three four shots kill, and then maybe a good six shots at long range just to kill a guy. I could possibly show you with the EOTech, but I don't. I think it's called. Is it still called an EOTech on there? I don't know, but besides the point, <laughs> I can show you it, it on an EOTech, but it's just, they need, I'll, I, like I said, the MTAR, it works, no, any range, maybe take more shots, but I don't really mind, it's, like I said, as long, like I said, in this uh, situation, you have uh, extended mags and fully loaded, and then on the other hand, you have scavenger with it. So you you have enough bullets. You'll be picking up bullets as mu as <laughs> you'll be hogging bullets if you think about it, because you're never gonna run out. And that that's what I would like about his class setup, because it seems like you'll never run out of bullets. You, it's like a it's like a chain gun. It seems like you're never gonna run out of bullets. You're like the heavy of Team Fortress. Where's the oh uh, what does what he call it? What does he call it? Oh, uh, who touched Sasha? Who touched Sasha? Who Sasha? <laughs> or something. It's like, <laughs> it's like you're always gonna be shooting. You can't, you can't be stopped. But then you come to the IEDs maybe, and you go <laughs> explode, and you're screwed. It, it ends your streak. I think the highest I get on this game is a dog. I somewhat get close to the maniac. I still haven't got my sentry gun yet. But it's, uh, like I said, it's a new account. I'm still, I like to, like I said, I like to have like a little restart every once in a while, make a new account, and then just go mess around on it. But the thing is I, that I like about doing uh, videos, especially on uh, this new account, is that the reactions I hear, the reactions I hear on the game without my mic on, are so hilarious because they see oh he's only like a level 13 he ain't gonna be good or something and then I come in and pub stomp the crap out of him and they go oh wow he went because the other day when I w went on uh, containment I went 30 and 12 I think it was or something like that and they were like oh wow a level 10 got uh, went 30 and 12 he must be super excited probably thinking that I'm like a five year old boy playing COD or something and I was they were thinking out they were probably thinking oh he's camping like a crazy person I'm like she whoa yeah I'm a I'm a I am ai am could not I couldn't camp if I freaking had a full tent and a campfire set up but it's just that much of a it's I get a thrill in rushing it's like, cause like Drifter says, be prepared to die on it. You uh, when you're when you're going uh, rushing, you're gonna be have to be prepared to die because you're you can't you'll lose gunfights every once in a while. You never know. But I know this video is gonna be come to an end soon, so I'm gonna start kind of wrapping it up. 
but my this class I'm, it's probably showing on the screen right now and it's very good I hope y'all try it out for yourselves and tell me how y'all like it uh, another thanks to the Brett at the Brett Burns on Twitter and I don't know if he has a YouTube channel but look him up if he does and tell him what's up like his uh, videos subscribe if he like I said if he has a YouTube channel but I hope you all enjoyed this little bitty custom class loadout and I'll talk to you guys later peace out